everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Akane Banashi chapter 36. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel and alone in this video are not sponsored and not we ain't sponsored by Shuisha and not we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus and not we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, I'm praying that this isn't one of my last Akane Banashi live reactions, because right now it's not looking good for me and the kitty. No, it really isn't. But... The last time I covered this manga, oh my god, Akane, I love you so much. What she did to that bastard, um, uh, Fudetsume, that was giving her shit was beautiful. She clapped back at him through uh, her Rakugo, and I hope we get to see more of that shit let's be real it needed to happen because he was being an asshole anyways let's get to this chapter see what's in store for us today and this chapter is titled one man's worth how old is the child well it's a newborn so we automatically count it as one but it looks so young for its age why i bet it hasn't even been born yet dude is salty as fuck well done on the perform hey Hey, you're a real piece of work, you know that. Snapping back at me through your Rakugo, looking at you, I wouldn't have thought you had the guts. I'm sorry, I just don't like taking crap without a chance to fight back. See, Connie don't take your fuckery. No. All right, listen, did you forget what I told you yesterday? Oh, let me guess, I'm a Fudetsume and I'm better than you, Zenza. Your usual spiel. Ooh, am I right? You say that to all the Zenza these days. Oh, shit. I didn't know you were still here, uh, Rokuro Ani-san. Well, knock it off. But I, son, I'm instructing her, guiding her. You see, she sabotaged my performance before I even went on stage. She needs to be taught not to pull stunts like that again. Yeah, but aren't you supposed to be better because you can overcome the dang things like that? Or is ignoring your own faults to chew out the Zenza what makes you better than them? <laughs> Dude! Oh my god, Rakuro! Rakuro got you! He destroyed you! He slayed you! Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. Don't mention it. Rain's been acting out lately. But you shouldn't do what you did, uh, did today again. Throwing stones that both sides can't laugh about is simply disrespectful. You're only going to earn more grudges that way. Plus, it's a waste. You've got so much skill. That motherfucker deserved it. He started this shit. She was ending it. And also, he was treating the other... He was treating the other Zenza like shit. And, um, yeah, she needed to end it. Asagao, yes, sir? I'm taking off now. You're in charge. Okay, sir. If Rain complains, just mention my name. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, you heard him. You took that way too far. I know. If he hadn't stopped us, uh, it would have gotten much worse. Listen, I'll admit that the stunning pull today wasn't all right, but at the same time, just between you and me, inside my head, I was pumping my fist the whole time. <laughs> You get what this means? You really owe Rokuro Anisan for stepping in there. For all of his accomplishments, he still cares about those under him. He's a real stand-up guy. Is he supposed to be someone special? Yeah, he is. You don't know who he is? He's the only apprentice of uh, Roku uh, Kashiwaya, the, the sole national treasure of the current Rokugo world. One of the most ascendant of all the Fudetsume at the moment, the wonder child Rokuro um, Kashiwaya. Ooh, aside, uh, setting aside that it was only um, uh, Ran, she's a, a Zenza who got the best of Fudetsume. 
that hasn't happened since Kai Oh, Kai Sei did it too. <laughs> of course. Oh, dude, he's smiling about this too. See, he, let's be real, he liked it too. He was happy inside. Oh, what has you so happy? You kept me waiting for 30 minutes. I'm already on the second bottle. My apologies, Master Ren uh, Ransaika. I would prefer if you call me uh, Rara. My inherited name is so brutish and ugly. So, I assume you weren't just wasting time. Did something happen? Yes, I found quite an amusing new kid. Today's our last day of working together, huh? I'll miss you guys. Me too. Whatever. Don't be so dramatic. We're obviously going to run into each other elsewhere. Easy, easy. Akane, you're the opener for today, right? Yes. Better check the list of stories from the daytime slate. Hmm, I see. A slate of performers has a flow to it. Ideally, the pitch and excitement should rise through the list, reaching its peak with the headliner with the headliner performance. So it goes from the Zenza to Fuditsume, rising excitement to the closer. So there are certain rules for choosing your story. Naturally, you can't have a repeat of another uh, performer's choice. Um, and even with different stories, you can't pick the same type of story. Uh, this is uh, Sangojigo. Hey there, boss. This is Taiko Belly. Hey there, boss. Another Taiko Mochi uh, male geisha story? To alleviate this problem, all the day's stories are written down ahead of time in a list known as the Natacho. That way, each person knows what they can perform. Asako Ani-san, it's, okay. it's not okay to double up on one of the daytime stories, right? Of course it's not okay. Um, at Yasakate, uh, people who bought admission for the daytime showing can uh, sit around until uh, the nighttime performers begin too. So you'd be showing them something they'd already seen earlier. It's also not okay to perform the same kind of story as a daytime performer. Well, that's a different... Wait, and it's also not okay to perform the same kind of story as a daytime performer? Well, that's a different matter. But you do need a buffer. This is your guideline. If you can put one fan's worth of space between the two of um, two in the uh, Natacho, you can't do it. Then I can't. Huh? I have five stories I can perform, but they're all crushed by the fan. I might have a spot available, but I don't have anything to perform. You really only have five stories? Yes. I mean, she is a brand new Zenza, so I guess that's not surprising. But for someone as talented as her, five is way too few. What kind of training has she been getting? Uh-oh. That's no good. We'll have to see what happens next, but... What is she going to do? Is she going to memorize a new story that fast? I don't know. What do you think, kitties? He's just ignoring me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think is going to go down next. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. Um, if you love what we're doing, you want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Akane Banashi content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.